and I am still in my bonnet. Well, I'm not getting up again, so. Hey guys, and welcome, and welcome back to my channel. So it is day four of foundation hunt week. I'm coming at you with the most expensive foundation that I'll be trying this week, but this is also an old timer foundation. Like this is an OG in the makeup world, okay? It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm actually, I don't know how I feel about trying this out, but um, since we're already off to a rough start this morning, let's just get into the video. So like I said, I'll be trying out the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This retails for $64 for one fluid ounce. Comes in 14 shades. I picked it up in the shade 13. Let's just go over the claims that it makes and then we can start trying this on. And you gotta read through the fluff just to find out what this claims to do. This luminous foundation glides on weightlessly for a flawless lit from within glow. Using exclusive microfill technology to sculpt and brighten, this buildable medium coverage foundation improves texture and blurs imperfection. Comes in 20, 24 shades. What are these 20? 24 shades. To match every unique skin tone. Oh boy. 24 shades. Oh, I need to look into this 24 shades because everywhere that I've tried to find it, I've only seen 14 shades. So, well, that is news to me. Anytime I ever saw the silk foundation on other websites like Sephora, Nordstrom's, whatever, they only had they only showed 14 shades. But on Giorgio's site itself, there are 24 shades and. That is what those 24 shades look like. So this is what the foundation looks like on my face. This side is set, this side is not. It is now 10.48, so I'm gonna go about my day and then come back later so you can see how this held up throughout the day and then give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I am back and it is now 7.35. Yeah, your girl is really late, but um, this is what my face looks like. Alrighty then, let's just get into these claims because, wow. This luminous foundation glides on weightlessly for a flawless lit from within glow. Sculpt and brighten this buildable medium coverage foundation that improves texture and blurs imperfection. Comes in 24 shades to match every unique skin tone. Okay, so with that whole 24 shades thing, that really threw me off because everywhere that I've seen this foundation sold, whether it's Sephora, Nordstrom's, whatever, um, I've only ever seen 14 shades, um, but I looked into it and I understand now how the last shade number is 14, but it says it comes in 24 shades. It has uh, in-between shades, so it's got, you know, 3, 3.54, 4.55, 5.5, of course, you know, the last two shades, 13 and 14, it's just that, it's just 13, 14, no, 13.5, no. 14.5 and that um, so that is why it says it has 24 shades. I Don't believe you can buy all 24 shades on you know any type of website I think you have to get it directly from the Giorgio Armani site um, And I'm not sure how easily available this foundation is period because I heard rumors before that they were discontinu discontinuing it and everyone who was obsessed with it, was rushing to go buy a whole bunch, even though, you know, it's still on sale to this day. But I don't know how that's working, but that explains the whole 24 shades. And the 24 shades is pretty much, you know, what we're all used to by now. Um, about like 20 shades of light, medium, and tan, and then, you know, two shades tacked on the end that they use for dark to deep skin tones. Um, now what else did it say? Uh, I think it said it was what, lightweight? Weightlessly. It said it is a weightless foundation and that it is. It is a lightweight, can't feel this on your face. And I'm pretty sure it's because this is a pretty sheer coverage foundation, okay? It says medium 
coverage foundation that's a stretch it does say buildable which is true i feel like this is a sheer but buildable coverage foundation you can build it to medium coverage absolutely can you build this to full coverage you probably could i'm not sure that you would want to build this foundation to full coverage at least like this foundation by itself because it does give such a natural finish to your face that i feel like if you tried building this foundation on its own to a full coverage foundation that you won't get the same effect now your girl has combo oily skin i think you guys see my face right now i uh, uh, seeing myself in the mirror when I came back was a tad bit of a shocker. Um, but anyway, um, so oil control really isn't a thing with this foundation. I mean, it wasn't meant to. It's a luminous foundation that's supposed to give you a glow from within. And for my normal to dry skin tones out there, skin tones, skin out there, you definitely will get that. But for my oily skin, this will definitely give you glow from the gym. So, um, you know, you might want to shy away from this. Eh, kind of I'll get to why I'm saying eh, later on now it does say it will improve your texture and create this blur effect on your skin eh, as far as the blur goes I'm not so sure about that but I definitely feel like this will improve your texture if you have it on your face before I forget let me go ahead and add that flash test right here and when I say this thing will surely transfer I mean it will surely transfer on your face even though that was pretty much some oil that I just wiped off there, but literally like everywhere on my face, it's just, it's, just, it's coming off. Now, as far as the shade range goes, this is the second to last foundation. I think we can all agree this is one of the better matches I have had this week. This is the second to last shade that this foundation comes in. Now, Nima Tang did do the darkest shade that this comes in, which is this shade 14. Yeah, the shade 14. Um, I will link that down below in the description box if anyone out there wants to see how the darkest shade that this foundation comes in performs. Um, do I need to say it? We need some more shades here, but this foundation has been this way for quite some time, so I, I don't really expect that many more shades in this foundation, but you know, um, it'd be nice just throwing it out there. You know, just want, want to jump on that bandwagon of diversity in 2018. Oh, okay. So thoughts on this foundation. As far as the shade goes, you know, it's day four. Do you guys really need to hear it again? Um, at this point, it's just like, who doesn't know these companies could do better? Um, this foundation has been out for years and this is pretty much what the shade range has been like. So I'm not even sure I could say that whole, you know, like more shades coming soon later on because I'm pretty sure they were discontinuing this anyway. So I wouldn't expect, you know, 20 shades of the luminous silk being added in 2018 now this shade isn't that bad like right now it looks like it's the same shade as my actual skin i'm i just look extremely oily it's just a hot mess um so that's that for the shade and as far as the actual formula of this foundation i can't really be too mad at it because i knew going into this it was a dewy glowy finish look that it will give you i just didn't think it would be this bad it's been what nine to ten hours somewhere around there something like that um and i've tried foundations that have that same claim of the finish and it hasn't been this bad but wow but i feel like this is a foundation i'm not just gonna never pick up again it was 64 dollars. okay i'm gonna find a way to make that work um this because of how the coverage and how sheer it is i'm kind of curious curious to see how this is going to work as a mixed type of foundation i might throw this in with my fenty foundation one day and see how that works just because my fenty does keep my face matte um and this is a you know glowy type of finish to it so i'm going to mix those two together you know throw some more setting powder and a setting spray on my face and see how that goes you know obviously you guys will see that in a video but as far as recommending this go um you know, for my oily skin, if you gotta like that, you wanna test it out, even though this is what your outcome pretty much will be, go ahead. You know, there, there are drastic ways, I guess, you could uh, you could lean towards as far as making this works with, you know, matte setting sprays, powders, primers. Um, is it worth it though? Like, you, you could get a better finish with something else with that money but if you want to try it then sure go ahead because I just said you know I'm gonna try it myself but that's because I already own it but really um if you're normal to dry skin this is this is for you fam um it'll give you that you know fresh skin like look to your face it's not for my full coverage people out there I, I really wouldn't try to build this to a full coverage type of foundation on its own and again 
Um, if you are someone who specifically likes a full coverage foundation, I'm not sure if you would want to spend $64 on a foundation that you're going to have to use something else with to get you that full coverage that you are used to. Um, so really, this is just one of those, you know, I feel like treating myself kind of foundations. So that is it for this video. I hope seeing this on my face and hearing some of my thoughts has helped your decision whether or not you're going to try this out for yourself. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!